Hey everyone, today we are diving into the new Gemini command line interface, or CLI for short. We're going to explore how you can get this powerful tool set up on your Chromebook, which will give you the power of Google's Gemini AI directly in your terminal. An AI assistant ready for coding, content generation, problem solving, and more, all from your Chromebook's command line. Here's how to get it running. First, you need to enable Linux on your Chromebook. Go to your Chromebook settings on the bottom right, select the gear icon, and search for Linux. And then select Set up Linux Development Environment, and then press Set up. Now all we need to do is follow the on-screen prompts, so let's press Next, and press Install. And this may take a few minutes, so it's a good opportunity to go and get a drink. Linux is now installed. Next, we need to run the following command to make sure the system is up to date. First, type in sudo apt update, and then type in sudo apt upgrade. And this will just make sure everything is up to date, and press Y to continue. Gemini CLI also requires Node.js version 18 or higher, so let's install this now by typing in sudo apt install node.js and press Y to continue. And we also need to install npm. So let's do that now by typing in sudo apt install npm. All of the commands we're running today are also specified in Google's Gemini CLI GitHub repository. So if we scroll down here, we can see all of the system requirements and the commands we need to run. Once Node.js and NPM are installed, we can install Gemini CLI globally using NPM by typing in sudo npm install dash g, followed by at google forward slash Gemini dash CLI and press enter. After installation, simply run Gemini. In your terminal, we can then choose a theme. And we've got themes here using both dark and light mode, but I'm gonna stick with the default and press enter. Next, we need to choose an authentication method. We can either log on with Google, provide a Gemini API key, or link with Vertex AI. The easiest option, if you have a standard consumer Google account, is to log on with Google. However, it's worth noting, if you have a business or education Google account, Gemini will need to be linked with a Google Cloud project instead. So let's select Login with Google. A browser window is then launched where we can choose our account and then select Sign In. We can now close this and go back to our terminal window. And that's it, you're now ready to use Gemini CLI on your Chromebook. If you ever need to return to this screen, simply type in Gemini in your terminal. Let's jump into a basic example. Let's say I want to quickly understand the core concepts of quantum computing. I can just ask Gemini, explain quantum computing in simple terms and hit enter. And as you can see here, Gemini has come back with a response. We can also see in the screen that we're using Gemini 2.5 Pro and this has generated a nice, clear, easy to understand example for me. But that's pretty simple. Now let's look at how Gemini CLI can be a real game changer for your coding projects. So I'm gonna close this now by pressing Control C and I already have some code on my Linux disk. So let's go into my app I'm developing called Ninja Jobs. And now I'm going to open Gemini while in this directory. Gemini is aware of a context and the directory we're in so I'm just going to start by asking Gemini to summarize this project directory for me. So now it's going to scan those files and tell me what's happening in this project. Okay, so I can see it is a Vue.js project named Ninja Jobs. It's using Vue 3 and Vue Router. And it's got lots of other details here telling me about this project. But where it gets really interesting is I can actually ask Gemini to analyze the code for me and also make changes. So let's ask Gemini to add a new help page for me and link it from the main menu. Okay, so Gemini is now processing this request and it's requesting to be allowed access 
to create a new page for me. So yep, let's go ahead and do that. And I can see the code is going to add into that page as well. Okay, here it wants to update my index for the router. And again, let's press yes. Okay, and another change to our router index. Let's change that as well. It's also noticed a couple of other issues which it's cleaning up for me as we go through this, which is great. So now Gemini has created the help page for us, added it to the router and linked to it from the main navigation. This saves a tremendous amount of time and helps maintain consistency. If you're a developer or just curious about leveraging AI in your everyday tasks, then I highly recommend you check out the Gemini CLI and install it on your Chromebook. You can find out more about the Gemini CLI on the official Google Developers blog, which I'll link to from the description of this video. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more tech content. And let me know in the comments how you plan to use Gemini CLI in your own projects.